Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest of my newscasts I want to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up? I'm JL. You're chilling, all right? Let's get started. Um, last week I told you that I was back and I'm going to be bigger than ever. Well, you know, big changes are coming still. I mean, I haven't um, bailed out on that idea yet, but you know more newscasts coming up in the future and stuff but what I'm going to talk about today is why I'm feeling so down and upset lately on Facebook and Instagram some people are probably knowing why um, why I've been getting upset and posting angry rants on Instagram mostly I mean pretty much I don't get on Facebook anymore cause you know Facebook is like a ghost town and nobody doesn't want to respond to my uh statuses or even reply to my messages so um yeah that kind of suck and it's kind of fucked up too but anyways i get more attention at instagram anyway so i'm probably gonna get some my um get some uh popularity off instagram as well but as for snapchat uh well i don't know even know how snapchat works i mean it, even if i type up a name i still don't know how it works or you don't even know when you message someone or someone's uh, following you or something so I don't really get on snapchat but I mostly get on Instagram and I barely get on Facebook now except I mean the only time I'm on Facebook is just scrolling down news feeds and talking to people that's it I don't really post statuses anymore I was just like um, post my newscast and stuff that's all I mean I don't post stats anymore because, you know, I figure it would be pretty useless and pointless anyway, so, um, so for some of you that are offended by my status or, um, got, um, upset over something I said over, uh, when I was ranting, I was talking about some things that offended you some, well, I totally apologize for all of this, and I don't mean to upset anyone, but I'm just speaking the truth and facts. Because um, what I'm seeing around the world today is because um, everybody's been getting pregnant by these deadbeat dads. And really, um, most of these men are just about sex, um, money, and drugs. Um, not all of them, just some deadbeats that just want to get the ladies pregnant and then just run away and disrespect the baby mamas that uh, bless them with a child. I mean... To me, it's just kind of upsetting to all, all the other people that has two parents that are disagreeing and being disrespectful toward each other with the child in the middle of the situation. Now, if this keep, this keeps going on, the theory will be that uh, the child will grow up to be disrespectful as much as they are. So, if that happens, I mean... The cycle goes all over again, it happens over and over again, and then the world will be a dirty place to live in, right? So, I just wish that everybody would get along just once, and just stop arguing over just petty stuff, and uh, just, like, sit down somewhere, and hopefully they don't, they don't, um, do some crazy stuff. Now, what I really heard is that, um kids going to school these days and they just doing violent crimes inside the schools like people killing people uh fight uh having sex and stabbing uh just recently yesterday um i just overheard that some two cousins got stabbed over at lee high school uh one of them stabbed one with a pen something like that and the girls other girls still in the hospital the other girls in jail um yeah, I was kind of shocked about that. That would even happen in schools. I mean, since I am, ever since I left school in 2012, I think everything changed in Huntsville City Schools. So, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much sucks how the world operates today. And to tell you the truth, I really hate well, how the world acts today because they treat you like a criminal. They treat you different. They treat you like you're nothing. I mean. Even though um, I want to uh, do crazy stuff, which I didn't, and it, even if I did, I still wouldn't care about it. I probably wouldn't be even scared to go to jail about it. I mean, to me, sometimes, if I go to jail, I, 
I wouldn't even care probably. I would just like take the punishment and just chill in there and just take the punishment like a man. I just would be careless if I'd been in jail or not or have a criminal record or history because, you know, the world is just stupid. It's just like fucked up now that um, everybody doing crazy shit. Well, not everybody, just majority of people doing crazy stuff, so. Yeah, but the next news has I'm going to go and really blow your socks off. So just keep tuning in and keep watching. Until next time, I'm Jayog. I'm out. Peace.